Roll a clip. She had recently applied for a job with the Clayton County Sheriff's Office and got word that she was selected for the position. She posted a screenshot of the email they sent her along with this caption. She said, and like that, starting off $45,000, God is good. Then she went on to quote Lotto, rip me out the plastic I've been acting brand new. It was around the crowd that she was attracted to. Why would I say that? Well, look at this. August 2023, nearly 60 days after being on board at the job, she posted this. I think my problem is I want a romantic godly hood in word. And the caption, tall, tatted, dark skin, Lord have mercy. And while she was on the job for a full four months, she was getting very close to the 120 day mark when she went to work on an October day. The 27 year old entered the building at the Clayton County Jail in Jonesboro, Georgia. Just one problem though. She was stopped by a supervisor who found contraband on her. She was attempting to smuggle multiple items from one or more of the following categories, firearms, illegal substances, or alcohol. The sheriff's office did not release which of these items exactly or the combination of items. When she was busted by a supervisor, she got nervous and tried to run away from the jail. Not sure how she thought she could really- County Correctional Officer found herself on the other side of the law this afternoon after she was accused of trying to enter the jail with contraband. Sheriff LaVon Allen says a supervisor stopped her. She was fired, then arrested Sunday. She now faces four felony charges. And this is actually the latest employee arrested in Operation You Tried It. The sheriff says since taking office, he's arrested seven employees or contractors at the sheriff's office as he works to crack down on crime inside the jail. Desiree was charged with eight charges. She went before a judge for the initial four on October 8th. So next is Lowry. We're gonna do her last. Who? Lowry. Why? Last of the females. No, I'm saying why do her last? She's right here. I can knock her out real quick. Because these men know her, they worked with her. They're trying to give her special treatment. So no, Miss Lady, come out there with the rest of them. You're not special. Yeah. Let me just go ahead and do this one real quick. It won't take long. Where's she at? She's on her way, Your Honor. She's on her way up. Okay. While well, Lowry's on her way, I'll sit She's right here. She's right here. Oh, okay. All right, Miss Lowry. All right, Miss Lowry, you are charged with one uh, count of giving uh, inmates uh, providing prohibited items to inmates. That is a felony, uh, criminal attempt, uh, conspiracy felony, and crossing the guard lines felony. I am going to grant a bond on the first charge of the prohibited items. The bond is five thousand. The other two charges is twenty five hundred dollars each. So your total bond is ten thousand dollars. You also have a stay away from 9157 Terra Boulevard, Jonesboro, Georgia, 30236, which is the Clayton County Sheriff's Office. So do not st step back on that property, okay? Um, you do have the right to hire your own attorney or be considered for a court appointed attorney. What would you like to do? Uh, you gotta speak up for me. I don't know, this is my first time going through this, I don't know. Okay, well, you could either A, hire an attorney, uh, or B, I can look at your application and consider you for a court-appointed attorney. Uh, either way, it, you can change your mind later on. So if you want a court-appointed attorney and you qualify, then you can change your mind later on down the road. But you don't need to leave today without somebody getting your paperwork uh, on your case. So do you want to hire someone or do you want to be considered for a court-appointed? I guess a uh, court-appointed. Okay. All right, I will grant that request. Do you have any questions? Um, what happens once I pay the bond? As long as you don't have any other charges, you're, you're good to go and then you'll get your next court date in the mail. Okay. Last name, first name. Larry, that's her. Hey, Jimmy, Jimmy. Ma'am, you've been charged with three counts of giving inmates guns, drugs, or alcohol, or a, other illegal contraband. For each of those counts, your bond is $5,000. And you're also charged with use or possession of drug-related objects. Your bond is $1,000. The total amount of your bond is $16,000.
you do qualify for a public defender and your preliminary hearing on these charges is November 8th, 8 8.30 a.m. via Zoom, okay? Desiree was released late last night, October 10th at 10.45 p.m. What's going on, my good peoples? Welcome back to Roller Clip TV. I am your host, Roberto. First, let me shout out a uh, pink lesson book for, um, um, she did such a great job with, with the, um, voiceovers and everything. Uh, I was going to try to put my own together, but some, if, if the wheels are already done, don't redo the wheel, my, my peoples. Um, anyway, let's jump into this real quick. Young lady, 27 years old, threw her whole life away over, um, a jail cell crush. Threw her entire life away. So when I was watching this, I don't know who this artist is. I don't really care about who this artist is. But the but the words, um, rip me out the plastic, acting brand new. If this is ripping somebody out the plastic and acting brand new, I will stay old and I will stay an antique. As a matter of fact, um, this ain't even rip me out the plastic, acting, acting brand new. This is some kind of rip me out of, uh, this is, uh, I got parchment paper. Rip me out of some type of parchment paper because... That's what happened to her life after that, that major decision. So I don't really know what this whole thing is. Uh, rip me out the plastic, make me, make me brand new or what she meant by it. But what I do know in watching this video, this young lady became infatuated with all the attention that she got when she got this damn job. $45,000 a year, y'all. That ain't nothing to sneeze at. Especially in this particular day and time. Nothing to see there. She got behind bars. She got all these compliments and her head grew bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. She heard all the words she was trying to say. And see, this, this goes back down to what's going on inside of us. Because let me tell you something. At, 40, at 52 years old, the one thing I know about me is that um, I love hearing compliments from my wife. But my wife has put the work in. She's put up with me through all kind of twists and turns and my ups and downs and my attitudes. And sometime when I was battling uh, freaking de depression, all this other kind of stuff. So I get it. So when she compliments me and when she says, babe, you're great, babe, you're handsome, it means the freaking world to me. But when a prisoner behind bars is complimenting you, come on now, peoples. They ain't got nothing else to do. She threw a whole life away. Over people, over, over young men at, who at this point in time don't have nothing else to do. Sneaking guns and drugs into the prison. Now she is now a prisoner. Um, Operation You Tried It. Um, this sheriff is cracking down on bad COs. The drugs coming into the prison, and it seems like he means business. And this, so this is not the first young lady who got <laughs> who got stung by this particular operation, but she's one that um is going to be serving a very long time. Her bail is getting higher and higher and higher. Because I want to say that they they went back and watched the videotapes, and she did this repeatedly. So for every offense, she's going to catch a charge for, it, which is very very sad, my peoples. Um, what's the lesson here? Uh, infatuation ain't love, y'all. Infatuation is something completely different. If you're in a situation where you can't eat, you can't sleep, and you're willing to hide and sneak and steal for and, 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 and somebody's making, that's not love. That's not love. That's infatuation. That's something completely different. That's your ego being fed. That's something inside you longing to feel important. And, it, it, and, and literally, this young lady just threw her entire life away. So if ripping somebody after goddamn plastic and acting brand new means throwing my life away, I'm going to stay old and antiquated because I like my freedom, peoples. I love my freedom. I want I don't like this. I don't like the stainless steel bracelets. I don't like them things in my life. I Listen, I told you all before you go back and watch my any video I, I did about the police, about the popo. -po, I like to stay away from the popo. -po. Sadly, this young we have to keep this young lady in our prayers because um. She got some. She got some shit to face. Um, as you can see, the CEOs were trying to sh give her some, some favor and letting her go last. I don't know what that really does in the in in the court system. But the judge was like, "No, no, she a criminal. Let's go." And he dealt with her. Uh, her pro uh, as a matter of fact, he, at the end of it, he said, um, "If you don't have any other charges, you'll be released." And clearly, we saw a second judge giving her more charges. So she got hell to pay. Thank y'all for checking out R Roller Clip TV. We back in the A. We back in Atlanta. Y'all know Atlanta's going to keep giving us some great content. Um, it's really interesting because, uh, again, 
any hood is the land of hustle. But Atlanta, Atlanta, Houston, uh, 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 Bronx, Brooklyn, got a lot of hustle going on. So we got to be careful out there, people. We got to be careful. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for subscribing. I'll check you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>